Alright, uh, the last video I did I was talking about DC bias control. We were using the uh, key site here and it has internal uh, DC biasing capability. Well, it, as it turns out, so does mine. Um, I didn't know that. Um, I thought it was external only, but it actually has a card inside the machine that has internal bias control. But you can't do it from the front panel. There's no um, there's no settings from the front panel. So first of all, on the back of the instrument, read your option tag. If it says option one or option two, then those are internal bias controls. Option, what was it, 101 or something like that, um, is the HPIB control. because it, So it's got an HPIB control card and then it's got the DC biasing inside. But uh, on the back, there is a BNC to allow you to connect an external DC bias. And I had played with that. Yes, it works with an external DC bias. But there's also a switch setting that allows you to set internal biasing. And I thought that just wasn't functional on mine, but it turns out it is. Um, and so then I looked into it and there's a connector on the back that allows you to add a DC bias control uh, kind of a remote control. Um, it's a funny box and um, there are a few available but they cost more than the, more than I paid for this. So um, some people have rebuilt uh, or have built their own. It's just a simple switch box. There's no electronics in it. It's just all switches to ground. There's uh, thumb wheels and some extra. Anyway, I could have built one and I looked into doing that. I have all of the schematics and everything to rebuild one of those. Um, but uh, also reading the manual, uh, you can actually enable the DC bias over HPIB control. So uh, that's what we are going to do today. Um, so I need to connect an HPIB cable, which I have, and I need an HPIB controller, which I actually have right here, um, right next door. So this is my VNA. So I'm gonna use my VNA to control DC bias on my LCR meter. And that's because this has iBASIC built into it. So if we go to system options iBASIC, uh, we actually can uh, edit uh, basic routines and, and control other instruments over the bus. I, I showed that before, but we'll do it again here. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll do a recall of a program. All right, and my VNA has a uh, has a keyboard attached, so I can I can control and program everything. So we are going to use this program right here. Uh, programs. We're going to recall that program and edit it. So this is the program. Um, let's see here. Let me put this down. Can you see that? There we go. Um, so uh, we're going to talk to uh, 717, which is the LCR meter. We're going to clear it. We're going to output um, A2, which is uh, measure capacitance, F111, which is 10 kilohertz, and T3, which is manual triggering. Um, and then we can output an actual bias. And so you say BI, and then you give a three-digit exponent two-digit. Uh, so um, I'm going to have a four next loop and I'm going to go between 1.2 volts and 10 volts in 0.2 volt steps. And uh, yeah, there you go. And so if I, uh, if I run this, uh, let's see here, we need to, let, let me finish here or I need to change the uh, display here. Just take a second. All right, iBasic display full. Yeah, there we go. So I'll run it again so you can watch it go. All right, so it's stepping through 1.2, 2.2. So it's, it's stepping through all the volts. This is volts. This is the capacitance and picofarads, and this is the D factor. Uh, and it goes up to 10 volts. And uh, yeah, so it's controlling the other instrument just fine. Um, when you uh, talk to the instrument, uh, you get a remote light 
uh, and uh, surface request light on. Uh, when you flip the switch in the back, you get the DC bias on, so you know you're applying DC bias. Uh, there is a DC bias control in the front, whether you've got 35 volts or 200 volts. I've got the 30 the option one is the 30 plus or minus 35 volts. That's what's in there. Here's my diode under test, but you can barely see it in there. But yeah, uh, so I can control DC bias. Let me show you a different program that I wrote. Uh, Keyboard again. I'll get this one here. Programs, recall program. Prayer menu. Let's see here. iBasic. Okay, we're going to run this one and I'm going to uh, do the exact same thing, only instead of printing the data, I'm going to plot the data. So this is picofarads and this is volts. So you can see, uh, as I showed before, there's a curve that follow, the diode follows with uh, voltage versus capacitance. The more voltage, the lower the capacitance. So just a demonstration that you could write an actual plot program over here and everything. Um, I think you should just put it into Excel and let Excel do all of this stuff. But anyway, it does have the capability. Uh, so I do have DC bias in my instrument, which is really, really nice. People might want to see this program, so I'll zoom in on it. There you go. Uh, I do a uh, clear screen and a, and a G clear, which is graphics clear. And then I say grid 50-50, and then I do a plot command. And you need to scale it uh, for the right values. Um, yeah, there you go. All right. I'm very excited.